many people have a hallelujah in your heart? And how many people know that that hallelujah doesn't belong to you? Amen. The hallelujah belongs to God.
I'll hold not to count. Yeah. We'll lock it down and not to get up and go for it. We will go for it. We will change the course of history. We've done it before and we can do it again. Yeah. The power to change things around us is in us. God has already equipped us with that that we need to change the situation and circumstances of our lives. Here in this text, the reason why I know he's going to help us because he knows us by name. All right. yeah, yeah. This text says that he called Moses by name. Yes, called him by name. He said, Moses, Moses, anytime God knows your name, he knows your address. He knows your history. He knows your beginnings. He knows your middle. He knows your end. God knows us by name. I can appreciate the fact that God knows us by name. Because he knows where we've come from. He knows the roads that we've seen. The horrors that we've seen. He knows how there are still young men being shot down in the streets by police officers. It's not that things have gotten, it's gotten worse. It's just that we have now videotaping of everything. Amen. People have cameras on their phones. Life has to change for black America. And black America needs a contract with Joe Biden. It's going to speak loud and clear to the change that must happen when it comes to us as a people. Yeah. I'm thankful that God knows us by name. He don't just call us once, he calls us twice. All right. All right. And then he tells us who he is. Moses, Moses. And he said, I'm here. He said, draw me here. But take your shoes off. Amen. See, your shoes tell history of every way you've been. And bottom your shoes of pebbles and stones. Dust and dirt, grease and grime. Yeah, yeah. That tells everywhere we've been in our lifetime. Yeah. And I want you to know he might have to take his shoes off. The Lord didn't want his dirty shoes on the holy ground. Right. Huh? He didn't want his past as a murderer, mm -hmm. as an Egyptian prince. To be on holy ground. He wanted Moses to man. Moses to serve. Moses to shepherd. To meet God on holy ground. And sometimes that's what we got to do. We got to meet God on holy ground. We got to meet him as we are. As human beings. As his children. As his sons and daughters got to meet him on holy ground. Not bringing back our past, but knowing how to live in our present. I can't look back and say, well, where I've been. I gotta get me Jesus and be God where, where I'm going. So tell him, take your shoes off. I need to know where you stand. A good place to stand is to stand with God. Be comfortable with who he is. He wants to be comfortable with who you are. He wants you to be comfortable with who he is. 
do I know your name? I know where you stand. But I've heard your prayers. I've heard your prayers for healing. I've heard your prayers for deliverance. I've heard your prayers about your presence. I've heard your prayers about this pandemic. I've heard your prayers about this president. The Lord says, I have heard your prayers. And I'm going to answer your prayers and I'm going to send you the deliverance. Somebody going to turn and stand around. I'm going to send you somebody that can heal this man. I'm going to send you somebody that you can count on in every and his name is not your Bible, but his name is Jesus. You can count on Jesus in every situation. The Lord will provide. The Lord will make a way. God is on my side. Hold on, my brothers and sisters. All right, Jesus. You know that the Lord is on our side. The Lord is going to use the Joe Biden, but his name is Jesus. Amen. Jesus is our Savior. Jesus is our healer. Jesus is our redeemer. Jesus is the source of our strength. Jesus is our power. Jesus is the one we can count on. Everybody else turns their back on us. The Lord will show up and direct our path. Hold on. We can tell our oppressors, those who want to run our business, run our affairs. We can tell our oppressors. Oh, you don't sit out and leave the wall. Because I belong to God. And God is holding my hand. I rejoice to know that the Lord will redeem us at all costs. All right. And nobody can go.
looking pictures. And they'll fool around and fall and do them themselves. It ain't your dish. Ain't my dish. The Lord has prepared a net for us to. And he's going to keep us safe from all those ditch dishes. Glory to God is on our side. Bless his holy name. His name.